brand new video. I am at LaGuardia. My first time in a month or more. Since the beginning of April working at LaGuardia, I love working out at LaGuardia. It is just such an airport that's so close to New York. It feels really special to work flights out of here. And also you just get away from JFK because our main center is JFK. It feels like you get to be a cool kid. I just flew from Salt Lake to Denver and Denver to LaGuardia because there's no direct flight from Salt Lake to LaGuardia. And I didn't want to take the train and everything. I just wanted to land here and be here. So now I'm here. That's blueprint right there pushing back. It's our only special one right here. I'm gonna get to editing. So I have to edit this week's video. <laughs> This is the shortest layover ever. I have to go for a run. As long as I go for a run, I'm good. I don't care what happens. I just wanna work, be on the plane, hang out on the plane with my friend. I'm flying with my friend. <laughs> Am I the only one that when I brush my teeth, I don't know what to do with this hand. <laughs> I have not been to Fort Myers since they had the hurricane. It's so funny to me because when Nicole walked into the crew room, Nicole's the friend I'm flying with, the second that she walked into the crew room, she was like, Malik's gonna be doing skincare. And I'm like, why, why, do, why would people associate that with me? That's very kind and very sweet. Because I feel like that means like you consistently take care of yourself and all that. But I'm like, what would make someone think that I'm constantly doing skincare? I do get a lot of compliments from this routine that I have. People notice my skin on my face these days and just my glow. And I really feel like the secret is hydration and wearing sunscreen every single day. And I also do what I love, so there's gonna be a more of a shine anyway when you're doing what you're meant to do in this world or what you actually want to do. So because I'm going for a run, I'm gonna take a shower and have to redo all of this anyway. So I'm just like, ah. but it is helpful to put on moisturizer and stuff and sunscreen when you're gonna be running in Florida. like. layover hotel before and I need to get back to the hotel it's basically across this highway but I thought there'd be a way that I could run like some sort of light in between all this and there is no light but I ran three and a half miles almost or about um, yeah maybe a little bit more than that I'm too tired to run all the way back it would probably only be another mile and a half but I'm just it's 85 degrees I haven't run in this heat in a minute. I mean, this is also Southwest Florida. I might walk all the way back. I have time. I'm not late for the van or anything, but I just don't want to pay to get back like Uber. And I don't want to get in someone's car all sweaty. I don't know what to do. This is bad. Finally, a highway opening. Oh my gosh. And I don't even think I could cross the street, even if I run. Oh my God. This is crazy. Grace of God right there. Cause I did it felt so internally hot. It's one thing to feel heat externally, but it felt just really, really hot. I think what I'm going to do is run again. <laughs> Let's do it. I have to get out of these clothes. They're so wet. Oh my God. Uh... One of my biggest things about hotels is they need to have a laundry bag. That is how I say it's a hotel that's good versus a hotel that's bad. This hotel does not have a laundry bag. Where am I? I'm just gonna put this in my suitcase. It makes me so upset because I can't just put this wet shirt in my suitcase. Like without it being in a bag, like, ugh. <laughs> Fort Myers. I really should be filming on my 
camera, but I wanted to share, I'm writing what I'm grateful for right now. And one of the things I'm most grateful for today, first flight was super easy, second flight was... On the first flight, I had this lady who, she just was so confident. I can tell who's confident on the plane. When you, when I get to your row, you pause your movie, you speak, you know, you take your headphone out, you speak. It gives a, it gives a layer of confidence that other people don't have on the aircraft. I asked her, how do you be confident? How do you take up space, take up time, pause when you speak? No. <laughs> Basically, she said, all you have to do is spend five minutes a day meditating and visualizing that person that is super confident and close the gap between that future you and who you are now. Release limiting beliefs from your childhood. We're going to get candy. Oh, you are annoying. Oh, no. I don't even realize what you're so I know you don't. I got this amazing green juice from First Watch. That place is so cool. I wish I could have sat down and eaten. Got some hash things for me and Nicole. I wanted to ask the whole crew. See, this is where I get scared because I don't want people thinking I only supported one crew member. But by the time I was running, I was texting her already and we were already talking about food. So I was like, oh, if you want something, I'm going. Only had 10 minutes. Like, like you needed to know what you wanted. Oh my God. Ten minutes to the van. Walking into the hotel now to change. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. You can do this. Oh, oh my god. Hello. <laughs> I made I made an assertive announcement yesterday. <laughs> this is the view from the hotel. It's very pretty. It's a very pretty pool. I used to come to this area before we even had this hotel because I it's the only place I could find. Like there's a coffee shop at this hotel. You guys know I'm friends with Nicole. We've been having such a good time. Like I can't even express how grateful I am for her and her friendship. Like I could cry grateful. It's so crazy because we were in training together about a year and a half ago. We never talked in training. And then we had a recurrent this year found ourselves at the same recurrent and at the same van waiting for our hotel. We just started talking. And she told me she remembered me from training and I was like, who are you? <laughs> but I love, <laughs> I love her so much. I don't fly with friends that often. I don't even know how we're friends. Like what this trip is something I would not do um, without her being on it. I just really like to use my layovers for what I need and what I want and I think most of my friends also fly out of LaGuardia, which isn't as big of an airport for us. I had to go to JFK and do a lot of our transcon flying, you know, Vegas, San Francisco. I do a lot of West Coast stuff and it helps because now that I live out West, my body clock will switch to East and switch to West. But this time I've been on East the whole time, which has been nice because I've been actually dealing with my apartment situation in Los Angeles and trying to 
basically find a third roommate. No wonder these places are so serious about a holding deposit and all this stuff because the third person keeps flaking. And we have a three bedroom. Everything's great. The apartment's beautiful. It's in a perfect area. I feel so ready for it. And I know it's happening because it's meant to be. The only reason I was able to fly to LA when I needed to is because I have this job. Like I could just go the day of. And because I live in Utah, it's so close. Me and the second roommate, we have everything together, but just this third person, and we can't pay a third person's rent. Like, it's gonna be crazy. And I also chilled this week, this month at work, so I know the checks next month are gonna be a little, they're not gonna give what they need to give. I think the plan is to go to Pure Vita. I'm gonna try to find a third roommate. I also need to start working on my June schedule because it is a mess, and I also don't know I don't know anything. I don't know if I give up my apartment in Utah, I have to move. If I, like, if, and I don't get that, if we don't get this place for some reason, I don't feel like that's gonna happen, but it just is really up in the air and it's so hard to solidify something when everything is so up in the air. I'm gonna chill for a second. I'm gonna call my mom because she, I owe her. And then after that, I think we're gonna go to Pure Vita. <laughs> Lifestyle. You really have to number one know how know when your energy is decreasing to a point where you need a break, right? My whole crew wanted to go to the beach, and I was like, I don't want to go. But they're like, don't be that one person that doesn't come. And you have to know when you've hit your limit. I have to edit, right? This channel is a priority for me, so I have to get a video up tomorrow. So if I don't, and I don't know if I don't edit right now, I'm not gonna edit. I'm also looking for an apartment and doing all that. So I have to get this third roommate. There's a ton of things that I have to do. While you have your free time on your layovers, you kind of have to take advantage of it. The funny thing is, everyone wound up not going to the beach. I think it's just the exhaustion of meeting new people and finding out if you guys vibe together and going through the motions of a new person every time I come into work, which is a blessing to meet new people, but I have never, worked with an entire crew that I've worked with before, there's always at least one new person. I think it's why I might be a little bit tired from just human interaction, but someone's running for the bus. I hope they catch it. I just want some good energy. Go, 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 hold the bus, hold the bus, hold the bus, hold the bus, hold the bus. He made the bus, Whew. This role, it's a hard one, and it just tests you, and it pushes you, and you have to be in it. What am I doing after this? I'm going to my grandma's house. My mom is gonna be there. It's gonna be just a very full apartment. And it's just like, you know, I just got off this whole trip and I haven't worked all month. So this was like a lot for me. <laughs> I've worked once this month other than this trip, but also moving everything just feels like it's happening at once. Okay, I'm gonna edit. Love you. I'm all ready to go. 6.44, we have to be downstairs at 6.55. I'm getting ready to go down. I'm gonna end the video here. It's just one flight back up to LaGuardia. I'm gonna stay with my grandma tonight. And I don't know, I honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not know what tomorrow will hold because <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna do another trip, go back home, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Memorial Day weekend, the air travel world is at an all-time high. So we will see how it goes. I really appreciate you being here. And now it's time for us to head to the comments. I will see you there, and I will also see you in the next one. Thank you so much, guys. Later. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling.